Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. My name is Lyle, and I got a very special episode today because my gold from the Pringles can has come back from NGC, and I'm going to open it to see what kind of grades I got right now. Hey everyone, welcome. My name is Lyle and I own West Tennessee Gold and Silver Exchange here in Savannah, Tennessee. I do a lot of videos of all of the cool collections that come into my very small shop. I also do some unboxing videos of what I get from my suppliers. And on this episode, I'm going to do a video of this uh, thing that I got back from NGC, which I'm pretty excited about. A few weeks ago, I did a video Actually, probably, this is probably one of my first videos, really. I'll link it right there. And uh, I had a customer come in, and they came in with a Pringles can, and they opened the lid, and they plopped it out, and out, pop, out popped two gold coins. It was uh, an eagle and a double eagle, plus they had a, a few Morgans in there and a couple of other stuff in there, too. So I took those gold coins, I sent it off to NGC, I'm excited to see what kind of grades they got, and I'm gonna open this stuff up now, live, as uh, as we do it. And I don't have, if you watch my videos, you'll, you'll hear me talk about my high school knife. I don't have my high school knife with me. Uh, customer came in probably, I don't know, a week ago, and he asked if he can put a handle on my knife. And I said, sure. And he's he has my high school knife right now. And he's putting a new handle on it. It's He says he's, it's, he's a carpenter. He's going to put a nice wood handle. Hopefully he doesn't mess it up. Or at least if he, if he can't do it, he doesn't mess up my knife and can put it back together. Because I've had that thing since high school. Does not cut at all. But it's very sentimental. Something I wanted to hand down to my boy. And uh, have him deal with it for the rest of his life. So, this is what I got from NGC. I sent in three coins. I don't know where I could open it. I'm just going to go ahead and tear it. Um, I sent three coins in. I had... Oh, I feel the thing right here. Uh, I had those two coins. It was an eagle. A am not 100% sure. I don't remember. Um, I, I don't remember what the double eagle was, but the eagle was an 1880S or oh, I believe. Um, it was the one that only had about 9,000 minted. So I sent that in because uh, I wanted to see. I wanted it to get certified. I wanted people to know that it is real. And GC has put their mark on it. And why am I having so much trouble tearing this open? I don't know. Let me just see if I can. There we go. Oh, there they are right there. All right, so this is the first time I've sent anything to NGC. I normally use PCGS, and they... Actually, let me go ahead and move the camera so we can get a better shot of this stuff. All right, I got my tray out of the way. So this is the stuff that I got. PCGS has actually gave me a few like actual real holders and NGC just has this like a uh, little plastic tray not very um, not a very good start I am liking PCGS already better here is my receipt I don't want to look at that I don't know what grades I got I didn't look I tried very hard to, uh, to not peek at the website because I know they tell you the grade on there first. I wanted to do it live for you guys. I don't know what it is. Let's find out. Hopefully I got some good grades because if I didn't, then it's uh, it's not going to be worth it for me because <laughs> it, it cost me it cost me about $150 to get them graded. All three coins. They're all gold coins. I have a double eagle, a eagle and a uh, $50 gold eagle that I got just just because I wanted to send it in. I sent it in. Uh, but I got those three coins. They're all right here. 
and it cost me about $150 to get them all graded. But one of them, the 1880O, I got an email from uh, from NGC saying, hey, this coin can definitely go with the conservation because there's some gunk on it. And if you remember from the video, which hopefully you saw it, if you didn't, you're seeing it now. And I got somebody coming in. So yeah, there was some gunk on that coin that NGC said, hey, we can definitely clean it up and we can uh, give your coin a grade. And I was like, sure, why not? Let's let's go ahead and do it. So that ended up costing me another $100 just to have them clean it, uh, get rid of all that gunk. And we're going to see what grade we got. So let's start with this one right here. This one looks like it is the, it's the double eagle. I believe it's the double eagle. Yep, the $20 double eagle right here. And it is in its new NGC slab. This one's also got some gunk on it. Remember, it was in a Pringles can. <laughs> so let's see what NGC said would be a good grade for this one. <laughs> Cleaned. About uncirculated details. Cleaned. Oh, come on. There we go. 1897. Oh, what in the world? $10. That's a $20 piece. They straight up put the wrong den denomination on it. So not only is it a cleaned double eagle, but it also says it's a $10 when it's a $20. Ah, in GC. <laughs> I wonder what happened there. That okay. So Slabbing's a little off, but hey, I mean, whatever. Cleaned. Didn't even get a grade. About uncirculated details. My goodness. Yeah. About uncirculated detail. I sure hope the other one doesn't come back cleaned. The one that I had them do the conservation on. Let's, uh, let's find that one. All right, so I guess it's the... The one, the last one is the one that I'm really going to determine. Here is the uh, double, or not the double, the um, $50 gold, American Gold Eagle, that I sent in. Now, I wasn't uh, too worried about a grade on this one. Sure, it would be nice if it was a MS-69 or MS-70. But let's turn it around and see what we got. It is a, better not come back clean, <laughs> MS-66. So a 1990 Gold Eagle, $50 piece with, well, look at that, MS-66. So four points away from being a perfect coin. It is a gold $50 piece right here, Gold Eagle. Now I can go ahead and sell it because it's in here. People will definitely know that, yes, it is 100% authentic. It is a 1990 Gold Eagle. Yeah, I'm not sure if I did a video of, with this one. I might have. I might have shown this one before. But there's two so far. Now, I don't know. I'm probably going to... I don't know if I'm going to be mad if it comes back cleaned. Um, I mean, well, I don't know. Let's look at it first. So here it is. Now, I wasn't prepared for for this... So I think I'm just going to move it to the side and I'm going to, hopefully I have a picture of it because if I do, it's going to show up right there of what it looked like before it went through their conservation. And this is what it looks like now. So it does look different. A lot of that gunk is gone, which is cool. But now for the moment of truth, oh man, I just, Literally, if it comes back clean, I literally just spent $100 for nothing. Like, I would have just left it the way it is. Um, but then, I mean, I'd, I'd have to reread the email, but it kind of sounded in the email like if I don't send it for the conservation, they will send me the coin back raw and not, not slab it. And I would still have to pay for the grading fee. So it's kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't. But I don't know. Let's find out. This better not be clean. 
and it says cleaned. What? M uh, it's a extremely fine detail. 1880 $10. At least they got that right. Cleaned. $10 Eagle cleaned. And uh, yeah, what what was the like what was the really the point of sending it to the conservation if they're just going to give it a clean? Like uh, yeah, I, I definitely have to reread that email because from what I remember, it definitely sounded like if I don't send if I don't pay the extra money, which for a coin like this was $100, if I don't pay that, then they will send me the coin back raw, not graded, and I, I would still be out the $50 that it would cost to grade it. And, well, I'm averaging, because it was 150 just to grade all three, and that's with shipping and all of that stuff. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Why? Why even have that as an option if you're just going to give it a cleaned? Like, there's, there's no point in sending it. Just freaking slab it and send it back. But whatever. So um, NGC just pretty much lost my business because of that right there. Um, yeah, that they should have just, they it should have said in the email, hey, there's always that chance that it's going to come back clean. Well, I don't know if it's really in there or not. Like, I, I really have to reread it. But yeah, that's, that's, that's no good. It's, it's, you shouldn't t you shouldn't tell people that you won't slab their coin because it looks dirty. Um, have them pay for it and then give them not even give them a grade after it's been gone through their conservation efforts. But whatever, it's still a eighteen eighty o. I'm probably gonna have a harder time selling it like this than I would have just to have it raw. So more than likely, um, if I can't find a buyer that's willing to pay a good price for it, because I mean it's it's a expensive coin. Like, it's not like it's a, it's a cheap coin. Um, then I'll just end up tearing it out of here and selling it raw. Really. Like, that would probably be the only option I have. But I don't know. But these guys are going to get priced. They're going to get thrown into the display. Well, maybe not into the display all the time. But they'll be out there for sale. And we will see what we can do get these sold. All right, guys, if you're uh, thinking about sending something to NGC, that might be a good coin. Just remember if they hit you up with that conservation, I'd say stick it to them and say no, <laughs> but I don't know. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've had any, uh, any weird experiences with NGC, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think about their conservation efforts and and it, it, tell me what you think of this. Like, it's a, it's, it's, it's a double eagle. It's a $20 piece, and they put $10. Like, I wonder why this one didn't go through their conservation. Or I didn't get an email saying that, hey, we can probably clean this up versus this one. So, but, yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you like, subscribe. Let me know what you think of NGC. Let me know what you think of PCGS. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.